Hey, good afternoon, Aries, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. My name is Morty, and I'm excited to be here and excited to be sharing your weekly tarot reading with you. So Aries, whether your sun sign is Aries or your moon or rising sign is Aries, or you're just checking up on an Aries that you know, or whether you're just intuitively guided to be here, I'm very happy to have you here and excited to be sharing this reading with you. So Aries, let's get started. Today is Monday. October the 21st, the time is 4.12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So I'm gonna take a moment, Aries. I wanna tap, tap the crystal healing bowl and give it a chance to sing to us. But prior to doing that, just wanna read from this little excerpt from this book to you, <clears throat> calling it a prayer. Um, it just reads beautifully, right? So Aries, I want you to think about this, think about these words, right? Especially as we're singing the crystal healing bowl. Uh, giving yourself a chance to remove yourself from the outcome of the reading and to allow yourself to step into a space and a place where you're open to hearing and receiving any messages that are meant for you to hear today. Okay, Aries. I offer this to you, O beloved. Allow the wall to fall that separates me from my own vulnerable child. Show the route that reunites us with patience and faith. I long to take care of myself like never before. Okay, I just love that. I love how it reads. I love the energies that I feel as I'm reading that. Right? And I hope that you guys are able to take that in and appreciate those words as well. Okay, so Aries, let's get started with your reading. We're going to tap the crystal healing bowl. This is a perfect time to inhale deeply, you know, a few times. Or you want to inhale deeply and exhale deeply and just remove ourselves from the outcome of the reading and just allow yourself to step into a very peaceful state, place, state of mind, if you will. Okay. Still going on this end. So, Aries, that was a beautiful song that the, the crystal ball sang for us to take us into your tarot reading today. Thanks for letting me share that. Okay, so Aries, the first thing I want to do is I want to pull an affirmation card for you, right, to take us into your tarot reading. I'm going to pull this affirmation card from my Magical Spell Cards tarot set. I love these affirmations, I love the images, and I love what the, what the guidebook says specifically about the affirmation. Okay, beautiful. Aries, so the opening affirmation taking us into your tarot reading today comes to us by way of joy. The, the number 16, which reduces to a 7. Seven's a powerful number, a spiritual number in many ways. As I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me. As I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me. As I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me. So Aries, I said this affirmation out loud three times. It's because I believe there's a stronger, greater manifestation power to the number three. We wanna create strong of an affirmation to manifest for you with this affirmation as possible because it's a beautiful affirmation. So Aries, that's exciting, right? We have joy taking you into your tarot reading today. Um, oh, I wanted to mention real quickly. So I've changed the menu. If you look at the description below, um, you know, for those of us, many of us are on a budget, right? We're budget conscious and we're interested in getting a tarot reading, right? But the prices sometimes are difficult uh, to make that possible. So if you look at the menu below, I've added several new options to my personal tarot readings with a range of prices, right? Beginning with, with $20. Um, so if you're interested in a personal reading, take, if you get a chance, take a look at that description that outlines the different options that are now available. I'm going to make these options available through the end of the year, so through December 31st of this year. Okay, Aries. So joy taking us into your tarot reading. That's a, a beautiful affirmation, beautiful energy. So Aries, I'm doing your reading today with my Crystal Vision Tarot Set by Jennifer Glasso. 
Okay, so the energy taking us into your reading today, Aries, comes to us as the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, like all night energies, it's an energy that you can count on showing up. Swords represent mental energies, right? So by way of energy, by way of zodiac, this is equivalent to, it could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, right? Because we're seeing sword energy, right? This Knight coming in on his way. And typically this Knight, he's bringing in a truth, right? A truth of some sort. All right, Aries, tell us more. Tell us more. Tell us more. Okay, Aries, only appropriate that we see your energy here, right? So coming in next, we have the Emperor card, which is your energy, Aries. It's, by way of Zodiac, it's representing Aries, right? This is a good, stable, secure energy. So I'm just going to hold up each card, just let you know real briefly what the card represents in terms by itself with energy is. We look at this Emperor, right? He's standing sure-footed on top of this mountain. He's a visionary, right? We have, this is being displayed by the orb that's being flown, right, by the bird flying above him. Very intelligent as he wears the horn of the ram, right? He's holding the world that he reigns in the palm of his hand. So this is a very trusted and secure energy, right? It serves us very well. Okay, Aries, coming in next. This is showing up at the center of your tarot reading today. We have the Ace of Pentacles, right? So aces represent beginnings. Pentacles, right? It's a tangible beginning for many, right? Look at the heart here. This can be the beginning of love. Right? We see these colors here in the middle. Right? I feel like they're representing unconditional love, healing in many ways. So many of you right, may take on the energy of experiencing some healing with this beginning. Okay, Aries, coming in next to the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So here we're seeing Earth energy. So it could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Right? So we're seeing two Knights. This Knight, right, the most reliable of the Knight energies, but the slowest moving. Right? So it could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Notice he doesn't have any weapons. What does he have with him? He has his, his staff that he's using to guide he and his horse right, on this path making the way through the willows. Notice the, the colors behind him, right? Seeing those colors, right? Representing unconditional love and healing, right? So this knight could be taking his time because he's coming from a place of healing. Too many cards. Okay. All right, Aries, here we see another knight again. So we're seeing three knights showing up here in your tarot reading, right? So knights represent movement, right? Represent changes. We have the knight of swords, the knight of pentacles, and here we have the knight of wands coming in attached to your energy, Aries, right? Coming in attached to the Emperor card. This is the fastest moving nine. So it's representing fire sign energy. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Just look at the image here, right? This knight, he shows up on his horse on its hind legs. So it's fast moving, right? Coming in quickly. The important thing to note with this energy is, right? We harness, right, the high energy, the speed, but the thing to keep in mind with this energy is many times this night, right? So fast moving. And go forward, right, manifesting something that may turn out that's not what they were looking to manifest, right? So just mindful for us to, you know, it's important for us to be mindful and aware of that.
Okay, Aries. So coming in next and showing up at the center of your tarot reading, we have the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords, it's a limiting energy. We see eight swords that are perched up here in the ground and the ninth sword lies right here. So it's representing the energy of fear, worries, concerns, coming in attached to this Ace of Pentacles, right? So for many of you, there may be some fear, some worries and concerns, right? Connected to this new beginning that you're stepping into. Okay, Aries, coming in next, and this is coming in attached to the Knight of Pentacles. We see more Earth, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, you know, by way of Zodiac, could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, queen, so we think of female energy. The Queen of Pentacles, this is a, a beautiful energy. This is a good, stable energy. Right? Queen of Pentacles has lived life, um, lived through life's ups and downs, through the trials, the tribulations, if you will, right? She's taken all the growth that she's experienced, right, from this life experience, and she's taken that growth and embracing it, bringing this growth with her, that that's what brings her the stability and the security that she offers. Okay, Aries. The energy showing up, taking us out of your tarot reading today, is here as the Ace of Cups. Right? So we see two Aces, one at the beginning of your tarot reading. So it's representing the Ace of Pentacles. Now we have the Ace of Cups. So this represents the beginning of love. Right? This could be romantic love, connection. It could be stepping into a, a new job, moving, relocating. Right? But Aries letting you know, right? There's the beautiful energies resonating ahead of you, right? For love in your life, right? The beginning of love. Okay, Aries, I have your cards laid out here. Now I need to take a moment. I need to look at them. I need to see and feel exactly what it is they're trying to share with us today by way of messages. So give me a moment to do that. And I have my other, my second tarot deck right here, uh, Universal Tarot, to go after any clarif clarification in any areas if we want some clarification. So we may very well do that. But give me just a moment to take a look at these cards. Okay, Aries, I think I have it here for you. <clears throat> so let me begin to share. So the affirmation taking us into your tarot reading today is I do will, so mo to be, let joy and light radiate from me. So the universe letting us know this is what you're trying to create in your life. It's what you're trying to bring into your life, joy. And for many of you, it's this joy that's connected to these beginnings, showing up here as the Ace of Pentacles and then the Ace of Cups taking us out of your tarot reading. So, Aries, coming in next, we have the Knight of Swords, representing that air sign energy. So, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, what's this knight bringing in, right? He's bringing in a truth to you, right? So, this is the energy taking us into your tarot reading. So, a truth of some sort coming into you. Okay, Aries, coming in next, right? Here we see your energy showing itself as the Emperor card. This is about having your power. Uh, perfect energy, I mean, it represents Aries perfectly, right? Because you guys are, you're creators, you're, you have high energy, right? You're, you're all about creating the stability and the support, right? So he's standing sure-footed on top of this mountain, but coming in attached is the Knight of Wands. So it's representing more of that fire sign energy, right? If just, this is showing speed and movement, right? There's, I feel like there's, we have three knights showing up here in your tarot reading, right? So we have all kinds of speed and movement showing up here. This is the fastest moving night, right? Real quick, 
And this knight, right, he's coming in attached to, he's right next to the knight of swords, showing up at your center, at the center of your tarot reading. So for some of you, I feel like it's the speed, right, the movement of this knight, right, coming in. It's, it's what, well, it's, and it's attached to the ace of pentacles. Let me hold up these cards real quick. So you have this knight of wands, right, movement coming in, right. This bringing together this Ace of Pentacles beginning, and it could be the speed and the movement. Everything is happening so quickly, showing itself here as the Nine of Swords, representing the energy of fear. Right? For some, this could be, you know, not sleeping as well at night, right? Because of fears, worries, concerns that are connected and attached in some way, shape, or form to this beautiful beginning that's showing up here at the center of your reading. Okay, all right, Aries, coming in next, we have the Knight of Pentacles, so Earth energy. This would be Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Same thing with the Queen of Pentacles here. Right? This is a slow-moving night. Why, why is this slow? It's such a slow-moving night. This night may be coming in slow, right, because he wants to be certain. Also, he's coming from a place of healing, coming in attached to the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, you know, it's representing Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Queen, so we think of female energy. So Aries, I feel like this is letting us know, right, that this Queen of Pentacles energy, you know, she, the journey that you're on, it's, it's about, you know, taking on, facing, and embracing this journey, embracing the difficult energies that are part of your journey, right, and taking those lessons with you, right, coming in attached to the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, it's just letting us know there, there's more there's more work to be done. There's more details, right? The, night, the, the Queen of Pentacles is great at paying attention to all the details, right? It doesn't miss a beat. So that could be why this night's coming in so slowly, right? Because there's, there's some details that need to get worked out here. Aries, where is it taking you to? It's taking you to the Ace of Cups, right? So... Also, connected to the Ace of Pentacles, right? So here we have another beginning. Right? It's a very joyful beginning, right? Let joy and light radiate from me. So for many of you, this can represent the energy of unconditional love. It could be a connection, a relationship coming in, whether it's romantic or friendship, right? There's a beautiful new beginning that's waiting for you. Okay, Aries, let's get some clarification in just a couple areas here. Uh, the first area I want to get some clarification on is, let's ask about this Emperor card, representing your energy. Tell us more about the Emperor energy. Okay, so Aries, coming in as a clarifier, on the Emperor card, we have the Page of Cups. Notice the Emperor, he's connected to the Knight of, to the Knight of Wands, so the fast-moving energy. Page of Cups, right? This, is, this, is, this page, right, bringing messages, news, right? This is moving towards the Ace of Cups beginning, right? So it's this beginning connected to your energy to the Emperor card. Right. So for many of you, you're, you're trying to create love, to bring love into your life, right? And there's some fast-moving energies that are connected to this, showing us here in the Knight of Wands. Okay, Aries, let's, ask, let's get some clarification on the Knight of Pentacles. Tell us more about the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this is a beautiful energy, right? As a clarifier, we have the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups, this is a very independent energy. Notice all these cups that are surrounding him. Cups represent emotions, feelings, right? So notice all the abundance that's surrounding this specific card, right? And it's coming in attached to the Knight of Pentacles. So for many of you, this Knight of Pentacles, what is he bringing you? He's bringing you abundance, right? Bringing you you know, connection, emotions, feelings, love. This is a very fulfilling energy.
Okay, let's get some clarification on the Queen of Pentacles now. Tell us more about the Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay, so as a clarifier, coming in attached to the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands. So the Knight of Wands, right? This is representing the energy of looking ahead, right? Looking at the big picture, um, coming in attached to the Queen of Pentacles, right? I feel like she's there's more details, right? That that need to be taken into consideration. So the details that are taken into consider consideration, right? We have nine and nine coming in together. Um, that's interesting, uh, but taking the experience, of wisdom with you. Looking at the big picture, right? Because maybe that's why this Knight of Pentacles is coming in so slowly. Because you're taking time to really think about the big picture. Maybe busy, you know, getting things in order and such on your end. Okay. All right, Aries, I think I'm done with your tarot reading. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share this reading with you guys. Thank you for all the beautiful love and the support that you provide me, the beautiful comments, the likes and subscribes and shares. I hope this reading resonated with you and that you liked it. If so, give me a like if you would. Uh, and if you know an Aries or you feel like this will resonate with them, feel free to share it with them. Okay, Aries, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Have a beautiful day.